I think that's exactly what happened. I think we might have bent a steering rod and I can't turn. I just need to have a look. Is that wheel turning at all? It's standing like that. Yeah, this one's standing like that. Unfortunately, we can't move the vehicle without risk of actually damaging it quite seriously. Um, <laughs> not much I can say. <laughs> it does happen. We are alive in the middle of the bush. And steering rods, they put them in silly places. But we did get to see Karula take down a dike. <laughs> um, i got to now try plan what I'm going to do next. We're busy trying to straighten that uh, steering arm by using a Tamburti tree. So we used the hammer already. It's nearly there. Oh, I think we're going to have to try the hammer again. So, I mean, if, if, if you want to, there's a million ways if you've lived in the bush for long enough to fix. Unfortunately, we've got Opar to help. So we see here, we're going to put our foot on either side so it doesn't move. And then we're going to, Opar's going to hammer it. Now, this is a very common safari vehicle problem. And you'll look at most of the lodges and all of our vehicles. These steering arms have probably been straightened 15, 20 times at least. I think Jiggers had its steering arm straightened the most. Rusty at least three times. But you can see, well, uh, if we didn't have access to a nice piece of steel, oops, like this, and, uh, and a big hammer, we would actually go walking and looking for a, a big, a big, probably leadwood tree or jackalberry tree to really bend it so there opa's looking for a tree okay so while we go look for a tree to straighten our steering off let's go back to jamie with karuna <laughs> 